hey everybody, good morning. Um, you might not know what's morning, but it is. And uh, anyways, here we are in the middle of the Rainy McCullers um, Theater. And uh, in here, we got some pretty interesting things to talk about. So uh, our topic for uh, today is, of course, uh, simple machines. And the big thing with simple machines is that they make work easier by decreasing the amount of force we need to do something by increasing the distance. In that equation, work equals force times distance. So what we're going to talk about today are specifically um, about how we make um, work easier here in the theater. So take a look at these gigantic um, curtains that you see all around us. So one of the deals of these curtains is that they're huge and therefore very, very heavy. So it'd be really hard for any uh, human to just kind of by themselves move uh, one of these curtains from side to side. So to make that work easier, we got a, a system of uh, simple machines. So I'll start with taking you over here and having us look way up there at the top. Can you see all those? All those weights, those counterweights and everything used to help with some of the process of um, lifting and moving and shifting some of these curtains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you upstairs to where the actual pulleys exist. So we're going to come through all this wonderful musical equipment and take a little journey up this spiral staircase. So for those who haven't been up here before, here's a treat. Now, as we start walking up the spiral staircase, we'll notice a couple things. Number one, it kind of looks like a screw. So the same basic principle for a screw, which is having a long curving path around and around and around, is, is that it takes a wedge and kind of splits it up to make it easier to cut into things. So if we take a look right here, we can see the tops of all these curtains. All right? And uh, we can see all the wires that are used to hold them up. And there's lots and lots of wires. And that's because above, we've got lots and lots of pulleys. So let's go take a look. So as I was saying, with the spiral staircase, it's almost like an inclined plane, just wrapped around and around and around. So instead of trying to climb straight up, I'm requiring lots of force to do that. I can climb up this curvy stair and achieve the same effect. Now, this is what it looks like up here above the stage. <clears throat> and you can see rows and rows of pulleys all over the place. All designed to change the direction of the force, but also to make that force a little bit less on us up here. I'm so tired. Okay. So if we take a look all the way down, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different pulleys all the way across the stage and all the way across these curtains. So if you think about it, having seven pulleys is going to affect our force because we're talking with uh, pulleys about mechanical advantage. So if we have seven pulleys, we will have a mechanical advantage of seven. And therefore, we're going to reduce our force applied by a seven. So let's say that we had a um, 140-pound curtain. Then we'd only have to pull with 20 pounds of force because it'd be a seventh of everything. So you count the number of pulleys, and you can take a look at it like that. But this is rather um, impressive up here, just all the weight that these pulleys hold up all the time. And how easily we shift them from side to side. Anyways. Those are some machines here in the building, at least up here in the theater. Pretty cool. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all later.